But prophesy thou, son of man, against Gog. Thou shalt say, The Lord God saith these things. Lo, I on thee, thou Gog, prince of the head of Meshech and of Tubal. And I shall lead thee about, and I shall deceive thee, and I shall make thee to go up from the sides of the north, and I shall bring thee on the hills of Israel. And I shall smite thy bow in thy left hand, and I shall cast down thine arrows from thy right hand. Thou shalt fall down on the hills of Israel, thou and all thy companies, and peoples that be with thee. I gave thee for to be devoured to wild beasts, to birds, and to each volatile, and to the beast of the earth. Thou shalt fall down on the face of the field. For I, the Lord, have spoken, saith the Lord God. And I shall send fire in Magog, and in them that dwell trustily in isles. And they shall know that I am the Lord God of Israel. And I shall make mine holy name known in the midst of my people Israel. And I shall no more let them defile mine holy name. And heathen men shall know that I am the Lord God, the Holy of Israel. Lo, it cometh. And it is done, saith the Lord God. This is the day of which I spake. And dwellers shall go out of the cities of Israel, and they shall set a fire, and shall burn arms, shield, and spear, bow and arrows, and stabs of hand, and shafts without iron. And they shall burn those in fire by seven years. And they shall not bear trees of countries, neither shall cut down a forest. For they shall burn arms by fire, and they shall take praise of them. To whom they were praise, and they shall ravish their wasters, saith the Lord God. And it shall be in that day, I shall give to Gog a named place, a sepulchre in Israel, the valley of waygoers, at the east of the sea, that shall make them that pass forth for to wonder. And they shall bury their Gog, and all the multitude of him, and it shall be called the valley of the multitude of Gog. And the house of Israel shall bury them that they cleanse the land in seven months. For sooth, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be a name day to them, in which I am glorified, saith the Lord God. And they shall ordain busily men, compassing the land, that shall bury and seek them that were on the face of the land, that they cleanse it. For sooth, after seven months, they shall begin to seek, and they shall compass going about the land, and when they shall see the bone of a man, they shall set a title or a notable sign beside it till the barriers of Carians buried in the valley of the multitude of Gog. Soothly, the name of the city is Hamono, Hamona, and they shall cleanse the land. For Soth, thou son of man, the Lord God set these things. Say thou to each bird and to all fowls and to all beasts of the field, come ye together and haste ye, run ye together on each side to my sacrifice, which I slay to you, a great sacrifice on the hills of Israel, that ye, that ye eat fleshes and drink blood. Ye shall eat the fleshes of strong men, and ye shall drink the blood of princes of earth, of weathers, of lambs, and of buck of goats, and of bulls, and of beasts made fat, and of all fat things. And ye shall eat the inner fatness into fullness, and ye shall drink the drunk blood into drunkenness, the sacrifice which I slay to you. And ye shall be filled on my board of horse and of strong horsemen, and of all men warriors, saith the Lord God. And I shall set my glory among the heathen men, and all heathen men shall see my doom, which I have done, and mine hand, which I have set on them. And the house of Israel shall know that I am their Lord God from that day and after from that day and afterward. And heathen men shall know that the house of Israel is taken in their wickedness for that that they forsook me. And I hid my face from them and I betook them into the hands of enemies. And all they fell down by sword by the uncleanness and great trespass of them I did to them and I hid my face from them. Therefore the Lord God set these things. Now I shall lead again the captivity of Jacob and I shall have mercy on all the house of Israel and I shall take fervor for mine holy name. And they shall bear their shame and all their trespassing by which they trespassed against me when they dwelled in their land trustfully and dreaded no man. And when I shall bring them again from peoples and shall gather from the lands of their enemies and shall be hallowed in them before the eyes of full many folks. And they shall know 
that I am the Lord God of them. For that I translated them into nations, and have gathered them on their land, and I left not any of them there. And I shall no more hide my face from them, for I have shut out my spirit on all the house of Israel, saith the Lord God.